Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's Fergie Blog here and I am giving you something different. I have not seen uh, any of the one any of the YouTube channels that always come up in my feed and the um, gals I follow or guys, right? Um, I have not seen talk about this and I follow their uh, the Danessa Myrick's Instagram account it's on Beautylish or something and I found this. This is, it comes in a box, it's called Duet Balm. And Danessa Myrick's is a makeup artist. She has her own makeup line and it is on Beautylish and I think it's on, actually I think there is a Danessa Myrick's website. She's amazing. Uh, if you don't know who she is yet, you will, um, just like we are like, we know now who Pat McGrath is, we're like Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, I know these names are like household names to us and it's been, and we're used to them, but you know, five years ago, I probably didn't think, oh, who's Pat McGrath again, right? Okay, so this is a balm and it looks kind of silvery, kind of um, shiny, but it's basically just kind of your, I mean, you know, like a petroleum or a, yeah, like a gel, like a, yeah. <laughs> it's not a cream um, because it's clear and it's just, it's just crazy. Um, now it comes in three shades. It's like a bronzer and a, there's three shades. I got clear. I feel though like there's, here, let me just kind of swatch it for you. Do you see how it just, it's shiny? Um, there's no sparkle, there's no shimmer, there's nothing in it, but well, there kind of is, is there? I don't know. But some of the other ones do have some stuff in them. I picked this one for my fair, just to kind of try. I was a little scared. Um, it is intended to use as a highlighter. It goes right over the skin. You can use it, you can use it as anything you want, um, but what I'm gonna demonstrate is as a highlighter. What I saw was it used as a highlighter, so yeah. Um, some people love it, some people kind of are like, no, 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 this is not for me. Um, it is, I wanna say $24. It doesn't have anything in here that I think is bad. It's basically got jojoba oil and some carnauba wax, which, um, yeah, so I'm so grateful. I'm just gonna go for it, okay? Um, this is gonna be, I think, I've used it once or twice, and I think the best thing to do is use your fingers versus any other tool, because I think fingers do the job to get it so that none of your makeup gets disturbed. Hang on. I gotta get a little bit comfortable. Oops, I was like hanging off the edge of my stool. So I'm gonna zoom us in and then I'm just gonna do this. That's it, that's it. And your skin has, it looks like there's highlighter on it, but it's not powder, it's not, it's not cream. And yeah, and so you just look dewy, dewy. This is really like runways and editorials. I mean, this is the stuff you see, right? This is like, oh yeah. So it doesn't disturb your makeup. I just find it amazing. And because if you're like me and you're over 40 and then you're like, oh, but my crow's feet are kind of dry and I wanna put on some highlighter. And because the highlighter creates a more plump and youthful and dewy look, right? But then you're like, if I put on something, a product there that might make it look uh, dry or cracked or something like that or add texture, then you don't want that. So it's like, it's kind of perfect because then you can show, you know, you can sh just look dewy and highlighted and plumped up, but not dry. Now, it is damp, you know, it has a tackiness to the surface. so. Don't rub up against your cat. <laughs> Don't put a mohair sweater on over your head. Yeah. Hi, I'm just gonna do this all day long, all over my face, so. Um, it's kind of amazing. Now, 
Did I look for drugstore versions? You bet I did, and I'll tell you what I found. So nothing exact, but let's talk about what I found. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Um, go ahead and put Vaseline on your face. I know, I mean, there's that too, right? Isn't that like what they used to do in pageants, like back in the old, old days on TV, so that their face would be like shiny and I swear there's some of those old tricks that, yeah. So a couple products I found different, but the same. So uh, Black Radiance has a soothe and seal. This is a coconut moisture tube. This, there's two of them and the one, one of them has a naughty ingredient in it, so I didn't buy it. Um, this one is practically pure solid coconut and you can put it on directly. I don't think there's any, hang on. So it's like this, there's no shade, there's no sparkle, nothing. I think the other, I think there was one that was like um, kind of opal, yeah. So there is a little bit of that. You can use this as a moisture stick. You can use this to create kind of that dewy dampness if you want. And then Well People makes, this is pricey for this, what I, so there's two products I found at Target. One is from Honest Beauty and one is from Well People. And the idea behind these are amazing. Um, this one is a stick highlighter, right? And it has a lot of good ingredients in it. It has a bit of an opalescent highlight look to it. And you can put this on straight. You can um, add it to, you can put it on with, you know, your fingers, a, a sponge, whatever. I find the best way to do it is just with my hands because I feel like the product needs to warm up. It's a little hard in the tube. So you want to, I feel like when it's 80 degrees in my beauty room here in my bedroom, it's going to be fabulous because it's going to be so easy to work with. Um, and then this one from Honest Beauty is also good in terms of it has moisturizing ingredients. You can use it anywhere. It's called the Magic Beauty Balm Stick. And the Well Beauty one was called the Bio Brightener. Did I, what is this one called? Soothe and Seal. So this one, same thing. You gotta warm it up a bit. Um, there's no scent, as far as I know, so that's good. And it doesn't have, it has a little bit of some opal, you know, just a little shimmer to it, not much. I feel like if I keep going, I am gonna have such a shiny face. Um, let's see where I can put this one. I'm kind of patting down some of this dewy wet balm here we got going. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's good. It's just, like I said, you wanna kinda, this one, maybe you can see a little bit of the pearl essence to it. Look at me. Hi, I'm so shiny. But I dig it. I really do. I feel like this is going to be, I don't know if it's sort of, you know, what's hot for spring right now or what, but I just think that, you know, if you, I am not going to give up powder highlighter, but I feel like this is just such a fun alternate and I'm usually afraid of cream products or I'm afraid of these kind of balm products because you're like oh no I don't want it to ruin my powder or make weird things on my makeup and it's just going to texturize it and pull it apart and so the good news is that they don't do that and I'm so glad like I think it did a little bit on my nose and I don't remember which one that was that might have been the well beauty uh, the bio brightener but like I said, this might not be for everyone because it is it, it has a wetness to it. Um, but yeah, so if you've always wanted to highlight but you don't like powder, here you go. Or if you want to be a trendy or if you want to feel like you are um, a beauty editor and you're just like on a shoot and you want to look cool, then yeah. Alrighty, so the Danessa Myricks Beauty Wet Balm do wet balm. I love hearing from you guys. I love your comments because usually several of you will always have something that you've been doing yourself that's like, oh, I use this and that and I use that all the time. And I'm just like, oh, yes, why didn't I think of that? So I love it. Um, 
like I said, there's probably some of you who've put, I mean, look at me, I look sweaty, I look wet, I, I get it, I've overdone it for the sake of uh, demonstration, so just keep that in mind. Um, not everyone, you may not want to uh, go to these lengths. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thanks so much for joining me, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, and if you have, thank you so much. I'm sending hugs, and um, yeah. So I will see you next time. Bye.